Okay, so in this video we're going to measure um, the elbow with our goniometer. Um, elbow flexion and extension occur in the sagittal plane. The end feel for elbow flexion is soft and for elbow extension is firm. The normal value for elbow flexion is 0 to 150 degrees. So for this our patient is supine on the bed and we need to take a little towel roll and roll it up and we're going to place it underneath her distal humerus so that if she has any hyperextension of the elbow, we're going to catch it. If we don't put a towel roll underneath her humerus, the bed um, eliminates her abil ability to demonstrate if she has hyperextension or not. So we'll put that under the distal humerus. It should not cross the distal humerus, otherwise it'll limit the amount of elbow extension that can occur. And we want the um, patient also in full supination here. So palm up to the ceiling. So here's our position. Our um, goniometer is going to be over the lateral epicondyle. You could just relax. Lateral epicondyle of the humerus. Our um, stationary arm is in line with the acromion process. And our moving arm is in line with the radial styloid process. Okay, so Suzanne has zero degrees of extension. And then for flexion, I'm just going to say, Suzanne, can you bend your elbow up as far as you can? And everything is the same. So lateral epicondyle is where I put my fulcrum. Acromion process is where the stationary arm goes. And radial styloid process is the moving arm. And Suzanne has 150 two degrees of elbow flexion.